Oops. I bought a brand new phone, like a phone that just got released last year. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the Lift Every Run Long podcast, <laughs> episode number 194. My name is Wilson Horrell. I am joined by my beautiful wife, Jack and Tan, Dr. Amanda Horrell. I have the Reverend Von Rawls sitting to her right. Hello. And to the Reverend's right, we have Big Thirsty Brian Swanson. What up? Now, let's get back to piling on Vaughn about his terrible decision to buy a Samsung <laughs> telephone. To, to buy a cheap phone. It's not a cheap any phone. phone. Look, any, any phone is. Uh, no, you're just no, trying. You're on I Team think, Samsung, and you're trying to, you know, make it not as bad of a decision. I'd somebody look it up. It's a Samsung. Every, every a, problem that he has had, I don't have with my Samsung phone because I didn't get the free version. When I Google this, <laughs> is, did you get a free phone? No, it's like a $600 phone, I think. I don't know. You don't, paid $600 for it? I don't. Yeah, I don't know um, how much it costs. It's a Samsung A seventy one five G. Look it up. Okay. Okay. I tell me. You tell me if it's a bad phone. How would I know? Because it sucks. I know <laughs> because you've complained about the things it doesn't have, like a on off switch. Yeah. For one. <laughs> a switch that makes it quiet. Yeah. You don't can't just flip that switch. That's crazy. That's insane. I will tell you that I have complained on this podcast before about being able to send images from my phone to my computer. That has now been rectified. How'd you rectify it? Uh, the, I guess I noticed on the i your phone app on Windows, you can now see photos from your phone, and they'll go, and you can transfer them that way. Thank you, Microsoft. Uh, thank you, Microsoft. That's amazing. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I bet you can do that. It's amazing. You can take that, pictures from your phone. Oh, and yours make has four cameras elsewhere. on the back of it? What? Yours has four cameras. We've had this conversation, and I said, What are all these lenses for on the back of my thing? And you explained well, one's each a depth, one to me. One's a it's five for when the other three don't work. One's a just five megapixel one of the four depth, works. depth camera. One's a 64 megapixel main camera. One's a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. Listen. And the other is a five okay, megapixel. Nobody, nobody macro cares camera. about it. They just want to take good hey, pictures. Hey, listen, this thing takes really good pictures and videos. That's I, important. That is the best thing about this phone. Are you getting 5G now? Yeah. Yeah. Think Are you so. on AT&T or Verizon? Uh, AT&T. Well, the okay. fact that it says 5G, does it necessarily mean that you're getting 5G? It'll tell no, it. I, because I've owned this phone for seven or eight months, and I just got 5G like a month ago. I notice that every now and again. Right now, it's on LTE. Well, we I mean, just that, got new phones. A, and, and mine, a service issue. Mine yeah. now um, says 5G with full bars in places that it used to have one bar and not say that's 5G. That's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, but you live in Germantown, so it's lucky you have a signal at all. Germantown is the sewage pit of technology. <laughs> I am amazed at how, well, and, and I'm sure that's because they're trying to keep their city beautiful and they don't want the <clears> stupid, <throat> ugly looking cell towers, but I'm amazed at how many dead spots I drive through. It's Germantown. horrible. It's and terrible. you can't have restaurant signs that are higher than like 10 feet or something. Or of the color brand of the restaurant. Right. They have every, to be you go to Germantown, everything and, is that like that. Shade yeah, if of you gray. want to beat up on somebody, don't beat up on Samsung. Let's beat up on Germantown. Germantown, yeah, Germantown. Germantown I'm, Tennessee. I'm from Germantown. Fancy Germantown. I used to ride my horse to school every day. <laughs> <laughs> Uphill both ways. <laughs> I remember when, when BP came to Germantown and the, the colors were too bright. So BP yes. like the gas station? Yep. <laughs> So they had to dull the, the colors. Really? BP. It's like probably the only BP gas station in well, the country that okay. has, so, has a different shade of green. Right, right. Let, that was let, the problem. That was the issue. Let's talk about McDonald's, who doesn't have the giant golden arches sign. They have, no, they the, have the little ground one. They have the ground yeah. one that is not even red and orange. It's brick <laughs> yeah. with like a muted yellow <laughs> arches on wow, it. Wow, Germantown. Yeah, Germantown. They got their shit <laughs> they bougie. on lock. They are bougie. Yeah, they're tough on it, man. They don't, as Katie says, they don't put up with no foolishness. <laughs> no, they don't. They don't put up any towers either. Because <laughs> working over there is a nightmare. 
clearly. I can't get anything done. I mean, what am well, I supposed you, to do? Get you, out and work? You just come over to my house and you park in my driveway. Speaking of, I like what you did to your door. Did you paint your door blue? We had it replaced. It looks great. And they painted it blue at the same time. How creepy Donker. is that that I know what color your door is? <laughs> How long has it been up? Um, Less than a month. Okay, I just saw it today. Did someone kick it in or what? The SWAT <laughs> raided your home? And uh, I kicked it in. I had a question. <laughs> Why is your router? Restart the router. <laughs> Could you restart your router? I'm going to go in and restart your router. I don't think you're home. He didn't answer my text door. for 90 seconds, so I just drove over there and kicked down his door. Uh, the, do- the old door didn't have a window in it, um, and the old door was like 40 years old, and so... It was sagging, like it was literally starting to come apart at the seams. I so can understand we had it replaced. that. replaced. At the same time, we had uh, a window in the master bedroom turned into a door. I feel like me and your old door have a lot in common, just sagging. <laughs> coming, sagging, coming apart at the coming seams. Coming apart at the seams. I, uh, your all- house looks great, man. It Thank really you. does. Thank you. Uh, I am actively trying to convince Katie to stay there as long as possible because I really like her mortgage. <laughs> how how are yeah. you enjoying the new uh, deck that you put in the back? Still not finished. Okay. <laughs> well, didn't you start building that quite a while ago? Yes, sir. What Co- does that have to do with that? COVID? <laughs> COVID probably put some damper on I had the original idea in March. <laughs> COVID, that's the... I had there. I had the there. <laughs> thing that should stop you from building a deck, if that's what you're going to do. I always try. I, to I had the idea Laziness to build the deck probably. in March. I finally broke ground on it, maybe July or early August. Yeah, and now it's November, and and I still only need plankings. I am probably ten hours away from being done with it. I just haven't finished it. Yeah. Life gets in the way. You, I've been I've been done uh, with a lot more things than I've ever finished. Big money can probably just pay somebody to finish that. I don't thing know why you. you don't either. I mean, you've <laughs> oh, already proved your point. Well, let, let, you let's, just talk, you let's just talk about the like, So I, I my son has a home improvement company. They are the ones that replaced the front door and changed the window into a door in the master bedroom. He loves to mock me every time he comes over, like to work on that project, to point out that that deck should be done already. And if I would just pay him to do it, it would be done right. And he'd fix all the crap that I've already messed up on it. And, you know, as any good family member would do, uh, just fully busting my balls about it. But your pride is standing in the way. You're going to finish it? I am going to finish it. I'm surprised that you would have the idea to do it in March and not do it until July. Yeah, it was just a lack of motivation and being lazy. If I have the idea at March and a.m., it's going to be started by March p.m., and I'll lose interest, no doubt, but I couldn't wait that long before getting started on something. You won't even want to do it if you wait that long. I think Katie and I really got into like playing Skyrim on the Switch. Yeah. And, Ooh, I don't have that one. Know, That's fine. It just, you know, it just became a low priority. That's a, that's I'm gonna, a I'm valid. Gonna tell you, I'm going to tell you, in, in all seriousness, like April, uh, no, in, in early March, um, when things started shutting down, we started hanging out on our concrete patio um, a lot, like having fires, like carrying a TV out there and streaming movies like on the back patio while sitting in front of the fire pit, like just having a great time. And that's when I was like, we should build a deck. It will be beautiful. <laughs> Come sit on my big deck. And uh, that's what she said. I knew that was coming. I knew it was coming. Oh, I'm going to send you guys a YouTube link for the Blue Collar Comedy Tour where they have this whole skit. I don't about, want to see it. I don't want to see it. About, I don't want to see it. I, I whispered it. it. About the big deck and how beautiful the guy's big deck uh, is. I mean, it's hilarious. <laughs> this when, this show trim, is going great, by the way. And when, and when you trim the bushes, the deck even looks better. Oh, man. <laughs> that is so uh, funny. Anyways, uh, <laughs> and then we and then we just kind of quit uh, quit sitting out on the uh, on the patio, and so that's it. Just kind of fell off the radar, and um, she encouraged me several times to start, and I was like, "Yep, yeah, not ready, not ready." And then finally, I don't even know what finally got me motivated, but I was like, "Fuck this, I'm gonna do it." Okay, I'm gonna do it, but not finish it. I'm still proud of you, though. You've done good. Your house. What, looks what I did, I did in. <clears throat> probably three days work over a two week or three week period. Um, but I just got to do that last 10%, 15%. 
Tunnel Hill was this weekend, wasn't it? It was. I think it yeah. was. Yeah, it, was. it made me sad. Does anybody know anybody that did it? I, April. I did April not. and Sean were there crewing somebody. They were crewing I don't know a who. guy. Yeah. Oh, really? Friends. A guy. He ran it in like 22 hours and got a special buckle that said sub 24 on it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what that's like, Brian. <laughs> I don't know what that's like. So mean. I don't know. Mine says he said it that, that antagonist, way. He said that, it that antagonistic way. high pitched laugh I, that comes afterwards. That was an assist. What just get me. Yeah. I assisted him with that. Yeah. 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 He, he, threw him a he loved that one up. Yeah. I, uh, but my, the guy that won it didn't like you posted it. It was like twelve twenty two or something like the guy that won the hundred miler. Was that this year? You just posted it like in the last two or few days. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I assumed it was this year, but I didn't really check the date of the post. I that saw was, something about some guy running something that. in five hours. Was that the 50-miler? I, I think the guy that won the 100-miler, who was also a triathlete, did it in like 1222. Wow. That's what I do 50 miles in. But how fast did Camille run it in? I can't remember. Faster than I did the 50-miler. It was miler. like 12 hours. Remember. I don't yeah. know that he set a record, but he still oh, won. Oh, got, gotcha. Okay, he, he just won. Just the winner. Yeah. He's not he, saying he's any good. Yeah, he's yeah. just <laughs> saying he finished first. Yeah, the guy sucks. He man. got that sub-24. I don't point. know who runs 100 miles in 12 <laughs> hours. It's like so slow. He's not getting his money's worth like we are. Yeah, we're cherishing every yeah. moment. He doesn't get that soup or get to stand by the fire and <laughs> eat pizza rolls. <laughs> pizza rolls. Any of that. You can be like Camille and drink beer and eat Taco Bell while you're running on a mile. I almost sent you a picture, Thirsty, and I forgot to do it, and I uh, apologize, but you need to try it. Amanda drinks these bubbly waters, which is just carbonated water is really what it is. It's got a okay. hint of something in it, but not much. Um, and if you take that and you mix it with tang, it's like carbonated tang. Oh, God. Here we go. And it's really good. I'm not going to stay on it, but I'm saying it's really good. You need to try it. Okay. It's worth trying. Okay. What is the – do you know the brand or – It's bubbly. bubbly. Oh, it's bubbly. B-U-B-L-Y. Okay. I'm sorry. And I, I thought drink, you were just saying it's bubbly water. I drink the no, blackberry flavor. That's what I have. It's my favorite. Somebody said, we need more chicken sandwich talk. Nothing motivates you more on a run <laughs> listening to you talk about chicken sandwiches. Chicken sandwiches? When have we talked about chicken we, sandwiches? Popeyes, we KFC, about, I'm spicy chicken sure, sandwich. I'm spicy sure chicken sandwich. that Come we have now. had the chicken sandwich. <laughs> Wendy's is probably the winner, right? When Wendy's posted on Twitter that they won the chicken sandwich war. Wendy's wow. was giving away a chicken sandwich. And it was, who wants a chicken sandwich? So <laughs> then these people start trying to come at Wendy on Twitter, which is a terrible it's idea. It's a bad idea. Because Wendy will just <laughs> shut you down. They will shut you down. And somebody said, why is that even a question? And she said, the question mark primarily. <laughs> <laughs> so this isn't a chicken sandwich but uh, I had a co-worker read out loud today I don't know how true it is but Waffle House is going to have a bacon flavored bacon beer bacon infused beer yep oh, they're, they're, it's a they're collaborating basically there's a brewery that had an idea they reached out to Waffle House corporate and Waffle House corporate decided to collaborate with them and they settled on a bacon infused beer okay. it's a bacon infused red ale Huh. Um, Does Waffle House currently serve beer? No, but they're getting ready to, I think. Really? Yeah, that's, that's what oh they need is some, is some more, some people <laughs> is want more alcohol. I thought than that's like, I thought that was the whole idea. Like, this is don't like, people go sober up area. <laughs> people go to Waffle House after they're drunk. So if you meet can... at Waffle House to go out, then you'll be dead by the end of the night. <laughs> Now we can just pregame at Waffle House. Let's just stay at Waffle House. <laughs> we just eat breakfast. They're going to need, need bigger coolers We're going to keep to. more beer cold. <laughs> I need to check with insurance. That's worth a trip to rehab. I would start start drinking if Waffle House had it, <laughs> if it was good enough. It would be and so the it. conversation I had with a buddy of mine today, uh, I have had a bacon-infused ale and didn't love it. I can't because imagine because it's being nasty. That I've had a disgusting. bacon. I've had a donut with bacon on it. Gibson's? I mean, it's it's, it's a smoked. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a and smoked beer, and you know the the flavor is like interesting for about a half a second, but you don't like enjoy just like drinking it over and over and over. Again. <laughs> There's a time and a place for everything, and it sounds good, and that's it's marketable, but it doesn't make it good. They'll sell one to a lot of alcoholics that come in there. <laughs> <laughs> they won't sell shit to an alcoholic. An alcoholic ain't going to well, care about drinking that no, stuff. No, 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 no. I, I'm They're going to want I, something they can drink a lot of, I, I, and it's I, not bacon. I incorrectly spoke. Uh, the people that are already drunk that come in there, they will sell at least one, two. 
Try it. Uh, Let me try uh, that bacon yeah, beer there, buddy. You know, and maybe just some bring sober. me a natural light in a can, <laughs> <laughs> and maybe some sober people. <laughs> but uh, they won't sell. There won't be a whole lot of people that just go in there because they've got that beer. But are they gonna? Are, since they're doing that, are they planning on having like multiple beers? Or are they I just gonna that. release? Well, yeah. The well, one you beer? have like a whole tap, a whole section of tap. You know, they gonna have liquor. <laughs> Listen, bacon not your thing. We got natural light on tap. That's right. That'll get them in the door. One dollar pitchers. Gross. <laughs> natural light. It's still too much. It's still too <laughs> much. <laughs> Fifty cent pitchers. Is natural light the? I always heard that that natural light was. What is it? Natural light is Bud, Bud light. Light's bottom <laughs> of the barrel, and uh, like. Milwaukee's best is somebody else's Light, bottom of the barrel. Like it's, it's, it's all just a lower class of something else. But I don't remember what the yeah I don't know what I equated mean, that, to what. You know, and that could be just be well. Rumor. Speaking of Twitter accounts, Natural Light has a pretty good one too. Oh, do they really? Yeah, I didn't realize that. Yeah, should, I'll start following. Yeah. Natural Ice will make you blind, angry, and <laughs> forgetful. Be careful on that stuff. That's the whatever they put in that is more powerful than my meth. my ice. son drinks ice. the that's what it is. I don't I know if it's ice, so, ice in it. Na, the natty ice seltzers, like the flavored oh, yeah. seltzer. No, he drinks gross. those. He drinks those on the river. Uh, or it's on just the lake like any of the other seltzers. They're, yeah. they're exactly like uh, Cause, cause white he, claw. He, te- he texted me one day. He's like, I know you <laughs> raised. I, I know you raised me better. <laughs> but I need to go ahead and apologize now. And I was like, what's that? And he's like, well, you're coming to town this weekend. I know you're going to look in my fridge and you're going to see I got Natty Light Seltzers in there. And I was like, <laughs> I, was like I don't even know you anymore. He's I haven't like, heard of that. Yeah, we he's got like, some of on. those. We got some of those at the pool this past summer. <laughs> we, we went through the whole gamut of them. I and mean, there's like truly. Yeah, I mean, I think, like, the, I think the sel- a seltzer is a seltzer is a seltzer. If you're into the sel- if you want to. A flavored seltzer that's going to give you a little bit of a buzz than any of those as good as the others. Holly likes the truly ones. I love a sissy drink. <laughs> like the mixed drinks with all the the, the fruit umbrellas yeah, and stuff. I, I love it. We all got to start somewhere. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I don't know how to come back from that, but I, I really do enjoy those. And I have drank more than more than a couple dozen Zimas with Jolly Ranchers in them. In your Crocs. I can't it, say I, that. I, this I will, is before the croc days. I will fully admit <clears throat> to drinking Zimas uh, when I was younger. I never ever put. I, I didn't even know that that was a thing until after Zimas were gone. That you put it, that people put Jolly Ranchers in them. I really yep. didn't. Yep. Yep. Zimas were before I was. No, I remember it. I just wasn't drinking. Age, I didn't say as of age. And Zima Zima tasted <laughs> like an alcoholic sprite. <laughs> oh, okay. That's yeah. what Zima tasted yeah. like. An alcoholic huh. sprite. That sounds pretty good. It. They Do you ever really, drink the really, Smirnoff? They were the really, Smirnoff, really like easy green to drink. Apple. Um, I don't think so. Are those things still around? Yeah. The Smirnoff flavor. Yeah, they're beautiful. Stuff. I can just look at them. Just the the artwork. They're on so them. sweet. Ugh. Yeah. Uh-uh. They're great. They're good. Your beard looks nice and full. It Thank does. you. You're looking like Santa Claus. We were we were talking about that. That's uh, <clears throat> that my beard has a ceiling. You know, it's at a place now where it, it could go one way or the other. Either I can shave it off or I can continue growing it. But I'm afraid once it gets much more than this, it's just going to be round and like just blah. bushy. Yeah. But it's past the it's past the itchy phase. I, Vaughn and I were discussing the the itchy port phase of a of a beard that kind of comes on the in between stages, and then we discussed my concern with my beard and my CPAP mask. And my CPAP not getting the seal, not adhering well. So my solution to that was to get the nasal pillows that 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 go over your nose. But if you open your mouth when you're sleeping with a CPAP and a nose thing, it just goes <sighs> like when you talk, it's like that. Oh, because it's it's blowing out yeah, of your yeah, yeah out of your mouth. That's interesting. And so I kept waking up and, uh, you know, Amanda would not be in, in bed and would be on the couch. She's like, you kept opening your mouth. And Gavin said, Wilson, are you wearing pajama pants? I am, yes. I sir. said, yes, he is. And Crocs. <laughs> yes. I bet Gavin can appreciate that. He, so, he's asking out of curiosity, not because he's against it's, it. It's always, oh, funny, yeah. it's always funny to me, uh, gentlemen of a certain age, when they decide to grow a beard 
who don't normally have any white or gray in their hair, how often it comes through in their beard. And that's, you look very distinguished. Thank you. Uh, with your salt and pepper in your beard. Yep. And uh, it's just, it's always funny to me because you, you now look like 10 years older than me as opposed to like a year or two younger than me. <laughs> I can't I I can't grow a beard because I look like an idiot. <laughs> that's, but, that's that's one good reason. Yeah. I don't but, think I, the beard is what does that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I, mean, I was just telling you I'm an idiot. You look like I, an idiot with a beard. <laughs> with or without a beard. It's like, hey, I look like more of an idiot. Okay. But I have a beard. Sorry. But I have noticed like the last couple of years I've got this pat these gray patches on my chin yeah, yeah. if i don't shave for a few days i'll have like a little white patch which is wild i mean i guess that's normal i don't know it happens pretty quick i, I remember wiping the what i thought was shaving cream off a piece oh, yeah. and i was like that's not that's not shaving cream i'm going gray happens fast man katie is excited about the gray hairs that she finds for me she is she she likes the gray hair yeah you have a paul pinkley beard i don't you, I you said that. that. I don't know. I like it. You need to. I keep, like Paul Pinkley, you, so that's good. You need to keep it for Sillamore. Yeah. And get you a trucker hat. Yeah. And one of those shirts. Spandex. Uh, so is this? And, and you can look like a like a ultra marathon runner. Yeah, and and at the starting line, people will be whispering like, like banana you, sling. You, yeah, I was gonna say and, be, and an American flag banana hammock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, and and this, we're gonna rent a a Mercedes van. And I'm just gonna go bolt <laughs> that when the gun goes off the first quarter mile. <laughs> and the then door. I'm just gonna be done. Just like take off. <laughs> be like, well, this has gotten in shape. Look at that. Oh, never, never mind. He's done. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, who was that? Like, he fell down crossing the street. <laughs> He drowned. He drowned in the creek. He quit. He He's got, going back to get his medal. By the time he made it to the creek, he collapsed and <laughs> floated down the river. And that's, well, that's where he got Last to the Last time turnaround. we saw him, he was drinking natural light fizzle. <laughs> uh, so is this a no-shave November thing, or is this just random? No, Andy said that I need to grow my beard. And then Amanda said, yeah, you should grow your beard. Uh, oh, what? Surely you didn't grow that in November. It's like... November the what? Oh, I know. 15? You need to grow that much hair oh, in two weeks? Uh, Brad Montgomery and Cliff McKinney, two tech people from the Memphis area, like they could shave in the morning and by 5 p.m. they would look like that. And I'm exaggerating. Like oh, I'm wow. exaggerating yeah, a little bit. Mine didn't grow very fast. It's been I, a while. But it would only, t it would only take uh, Brad or Cliff like a week or two to grow a beard that wow. full. Yeah, by I'm the not, end, by the end of No of Shave November, like they've got like full on beards. Wow. This was just a, we're going to grow it until one of them tells me to stop growing it. Until they say it looks gross. Yeah. So are you uh, grooming it? or I have. Okay. I, but very cautiously. I'm, I'm kind of scared. You know, you don't want to go. Yeah, yeah. I'm you don't want to put too much on it. So I've cut off some, some scragglers, but a uh, little bit. Just curious. I think it, gets it looks to good, a, seriously. I think it gets to a point where maybe grooming will do more good than it does now. Like I've got on the beard oil and stuff from yeah. Bluff City Soap, so... I need to. And I, what, I got what, does that help, what does that help with? What does the beard oil help with? Just helps smooth everything out, keeps it healthier. It makes you cooler, I think. It does look. Somebody who has a well-groomed beard looks like they have a well-groomed like beard. Like kale, right? You don't. Yeah. And you like seen who? he liked kale's beard, and you asked him. Oh about yeah, it. That's yeah. The I reason I got you him. that oil. I need to talk to him about his beard because he had nice beard. Yeah, you can definitely tell. Like a homeless person's beard is not. It's not as good as a not homeless. Because they don't person. have Because they don't have oil. Or a home. Because <laughs> yeah. they because, don't have the beard. I oil. mean, they can't just go down to Bluff, Bluff City, City Soap, Soap and <laughs> right and get the whatever the oil is. I right. Don't know. I mean, There's but that's not. kind of profiling, don't you think? You don't know that. I mean, there are maybe they just don't want to spend there, their there, money on. I mean, there are definitely your nonprofit. You hand out beard oil to the the homeless. <laughs> what a good idea! <laughs> Instead of water. The next time I see that guy, be like this asshole the... just gave me beard oil. <laughs> WTF? <laughs> hey man, beard's looking a little scraggly. Yeah, <laughs> here's Gavin, a grooming yeah. kit and some beard oil. Okay, next Gavin, time Gavin May says uh, uh, no shave November is amateur beard month. Next, <laughs> he can grow a pretty epic beard. Yeah. He keeps his, I mean, pretty, pretty tight. But he, I think he usually keeps a full face of hair, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't no Man, no shave November a uh, a charity thing? I think it's something you can sign up for. 
like yeah. a 5K or something. Well, like there's, a, there's a lot of stuff that's been built around it. But yeah, the original idea was, uh, and man, don't even quote me on it, but I think it's some kind of a men's cancer, like a testicular cancer or something like that. Like it's uh, it's meant to raise awareness for something like that. I, I can't remember the specifics, but. Got it. Speaking of running. Haven't. We all got into Sillimore, right? Man, we yeah. did. That's so good. I'm so excited about Sillimore, man. I'm so excited about Sillimore. Me too. I'm going to start training the day any before Sillimore. <laughs> it's so funny. So, uh, Katie and I went camping this weekend up at Rovet Lake. Had an amazing time. Super relaxing weekend. Beautiful weather. But um, we uh, went on a couple of hiking trails. And so, like, you're walking up to the trail and it's like a quarter mile loop. And so first day we go on one of these hiking trails, you know, Katie takes a picture and she's like half marathon training day one, <laughs> you know, and it's a quarter mile. Second day we find a true, a, a different trail and it's a half mile loop and she's like half mile training or half marathon training day two. It's pretty funny. My we wife. All uh, Sillimore with mustache. Are y'all going to do, yeah, when is, when is St. Jude, is there a time that that's supposed to be? December yes, 5th is December the official 5th. date of the race, but I think you're, allowed a week in either direction or you can do them all right now if you want to okay okay Uh, people are people have already submitted the marathon and all that good stuff yeah on the the facebook link there's people constantly like um it was my day off today and i went and ran my marathon i am gonna do are you doing all four of them are you just doing i've already done that with dopey so i'm just gonna run my marathon that's what i was gonna run i'm gonna do the 5k 10k half marathon marathon Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday that week. Pretty cool. So uh, I'm going to do it all at my house, right in my neighborhood. Uh, so you're going to do it like the second, third, fourth, and fifth? Yes, that's okay. correct. Yep. Uh, I think like 8 o'clock in the morning, like before work. And then on Saturday, just, you know. Are you going to uh, do Swamp Stomper? No. Mm-mm. That's a hard pass for me every year. Man, if I... If I actually get motivated to train before February, then I would consider it. I, I, I like get that out, race. I, I really like that. Like that I race. like going out there and running, but we never get the chance to go out there. But if I could go out there and run it some, I would. But I'm not going to just jump in the Swamp Stomper. Mm, I don't know. That race just, everyone seems to be scared, not scared, but talk badly about it. It's just always well, bloody. It scares the crap out well, like, I don't want to do it's that. It's just like Sillimore, though. It's like the... <clears throat> The weather is such a unknown. Yeah. And then, like some years, the the Mississippi River might literally cover the trail where they have to, you have to go up the side of a hill because the trail is underwater. Yeah. And so they make you run up this hill and then run a half mile and then come down the hill where the water's clear. I've never heard anybody say it was a great day out there on the swamp oh. stuffer, like. I mean that, that that's where you and I originally started doing our trail racing for our birthday. I know, but I never I, I, loved that I didn't go I run loved, that race. I love that race. That is one of my favorite races. And one time I saw Wilson at an aid station there. <laughs> Working one. Oh, no, he was volunteering. <laughs> Giving of my time. Look at that. Unpaid. That's two. That's, trying that to must help be you've done two people. Two I races. Have. Yep. Uh I do love that course. That is one of my favorite courses. I love that that's not what I mean. Okay. The course is probably amazing. Okay. The environment seems like it's never Good. Well, I'll tell Kieran you said I, that. It's real nice of you to. Now, there's been a few years where we ran it that it was nice, that the, it well, wasn't muddy go. and it wasn't whatever. But it's been, it's been a few years because I think the last three years I've signed up, it's either snowed or really muddy or icy or something, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. So I don't go. The last time I signed up for it, Carol ended up in the hospital that weekend, and then the next time, we were in Mexico. For her treatment, uh, so do they have a twenty-five k? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, the, the yeah. fifty k is see, just doing it twice. I would not. I twice. would not do the fifty k. Yeah, I've never done the fifty. Oh well, the see, 50, I was I was talking the, about the fifty k. The fifty k no, is mentally hard because it's you're doing the twenty-five k oh, twice. Oh man, that would so be tough. You have tough. to come back to the Ugh. parking lot. Yeah. Cross the finish, Cross the finish line, line and be like, and uh, I'm only halfway done. Man. Yeah. So sorry. I bet that's and, a- and I feel like that's a very acceptable 25K to be like. Oh, yeah. There's no know, People are going to be like, why one. aren't you doing the 50K? Like, <laughs> if you're doing the 50K, you're really in for a day. Yeah. Uh, that race, I think I've done the 50K two or three, uh, maybe two times out there. And uh, 
it mentally breaks me every single time. There are 50 Ks that I've done that I'm like, man, I'm tired. That 50 K, uh, I mean, it just mentally okay. breaks. Well, me. so I, that, so now we're arriving at why I'm scared of that race. Okay. Because every, 25K, everyone, do it and crush uh, it. And, yeah. Let's do the 25 K. We should all do the 25 K. I'll, I'll consider that. Okay. Let's do that. Uh, I, I should do that so that I might actually be trained for Sillimore. Because at a minimum, that's all you need. At a minimum, I've done one 25k training right. run. I was <laughs> man, you know what? I, and uh, I, my wife keeps making this joke that uh, of on your training, because I keep going, man. Like yesterday, I ran 18 miles, and today I ran just my regular 40 minute run, no problem. Right. Walking up and down the stairs, it's easy, not right. a big deal. I feel great. And my wife says, because you're actually running. Right. <laughs> and I looked back on it. I was like, I don't think I've ever ran a long run where the next day I didn't feel terrible. Hmm. Like I couldn't walk up yeah. and down the stairs. I, I'm sore as crap, you know. But now I'm actually running versus, you know, running a little bit and then, then trying to run 100 miles or 50 yeah, miles yeah. or a marathon or whatever it is. And then the next day I'm destroyed, you know. Because now you are running with a little bit of cross training as opposed to cross training right. with a little the, bit of running. Right. Yep. That's interesting. I'm loving my fitness as much as I ever have right now. Just doing pretty much push ups, squats, running, and or rowing. The only problem with my running is I'm still so afraid with my calf. Like I. So, How is that doing? It's okay. It's not great. Um, it's really fear as much as it, I know it's there. I mean, it's not fully healed. And so I, I told Amanda, it's like I'm running with a set of China. You know, I'm just always like worried that yep. every step I take, I'm waiting for it to go. Drink. Um, and I hate that. Because That's scary. Yeah. It, it, it is. And especially when you're enjoying kind of getting somewhere, you know, and pushing mm -hmm. yourself a little bit and you really can't. But either way, I've just I've liked it. Yeah, I made the decision. I'm I'm never doing another burpee in my life for any reason. I'm never jumping on or off another thing. Well, you wouldn't have liked today's workout because those things they're painful and annoying. <laughs> okay. okay. There's not a reason for me to. I don't need to get on the floor. Okay. For any anything, <laughs> I have kids that'll do that. <laughs> okay. You can pick that up. Yeah. Time I shoot. <laughs> Unless it's like a burrito that rolls off of something onto the floor. Oh, I dropped and, my and hot then, dog. And, and then all burrito sudden, down. Damn and it. And all of a sudden you're kicking your kid to, before they pick it up. Grayson, get down here and pick up this burrito. Oh, y'all, this is funny. Holly said that every time she meets Gavin for the first time, he has a beard. <laughs> <laughs> I had to say that. Uh, <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that is so funny. Uh, so doing? Holly's li listen. I've got yeah. She's on. Listen to me. I've I've got uh, some useless. Holly, knowledge. your jackets in my locker still at All Branch. Here for you Cross guys. It. We're doing salt stomper, right? Twenty five. Yeah, twenty five k. All of us are doing twenty five k. Don't mm. pussy out. I won't. You in? I'm in. I mean, I haven't registered Vaughn? yet, but I'm. I, well, I don't know. I'm I'll say it. Say I'll yes. Say, I'm not gonna say. Say it. yes. I will say. You and your principles, I have Amanda. Principles. I will. Got it. I will okay, see about it. There we go. I'll You're the only it. one too scared to do it. <laughs> I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I'm scared of doing the 50K there. No, I'm 100, not doing 50K. 100% 100 100 scared of doing the 50K. Y'all, I'm doing the 25 for Sillimore this year. That's Three. awesome. I'm running with I Melissa. Remember. That's the best. That is, I just, every time I get to that little white PVC pipe, I'm like, man, I don't want to turn around. No, because the best part's the other half. I know. So I'm going to have to get Melissa to run 50K. Melissa signed up for the 25K. At yeah. Swamp Stomper. Oh, is she? All okay. Right. There you go. All right. Useless knowledge. Did you know, Holly, it's possible to turn peanut butter into diamonds, but you didn't know that. Let me tell you how you do it. Oh, uh, do you need a blowtorch? While most of us are happy to slap some peanut butter between two slices of bread, scientist Dan Frost of the Bayerisches Gies Institute in Germany did something a little bit different with his peanut butter. He made a diamond. Frost studies the conditions of Earth's mantle and has found ways to mimic them in his lab. According to the BBC, the high pressures of the mantle can strip oxygen from carbon dioxide and leave behind the carbon to form a diamond. And since peanut butter is already rich in carbon, Frost was able to transform the nutty goodness into a shiny jewel. How much peanut butter did it take to make how much of a diamond? 
it doesn't say that. You clearly didn't okay, research this. Okay, and so, so the follow-up question, <laughs> the follow-up question for you, Wilson, is: Are you willing to sacrifice the peanut butter? No, I, I, I like <clears throat> peanut butter more than diamonds. Okay. I mean, if I had the options of eating a bunch of peanut butter or wearing diamonds, that would be a stupid question. So, but I've got more. Oh, Swamp Stomper just got better. Yes, it did. Holly says she's crewing at Swamp Stomper. She's bringing Fireball and pizza rolls, and she's got an air fryer. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that is pro. That's a pro move. Anything Holly's involved in will be better. <clears throat> an with air fryer is a pro move. Don't try and outdo the world's greatest aid station, Holly. I don't. I don't understand the air fryer. The concept of it. I've never eaten anything. Do you own one? No. no. I don't understand it either. So we don't have one. But I have. I don't have any more space on my kitchen cabinets or in my cabinets or on my kitchen counters i, I have no more space i preach all the, all the things that you would normally cook like in oil on the stove you can cook in an air fryer i don't cook anything oil. in the oil on the well stove. listen <laughs> I, I don't okay, okay, I don't know. I am okay listen. then some things that you broil oh. like in an oven okay listen like fish. Uh, unless could, flying jay gets an i air fryer, preach I'll probably never eat i it. preach the gospel of bacon in the air fryer it doesn't get any better than that I just don't see how that works at all. I don't get. I don't know. It's you a put, I'll oven. tell you how it's it a works. Convection oven. You, I don't understand how convection oven I, works. Listen, it doesn't matter. Okay. Buy one. It's a hundred dollars. You open it. You put bacon in there. You just put bring it in there. Over. Push the bacon you button. Bring over and, and then show, 20, show the fifteen minutes later, you pull it out and you've got the crispiest bacon. And no, no oil yeah. left behind. It goes down in the bottom of the thing. The fat goes yeah. down in the bottom. Yeah, what what has cooked it? Air. air, hot air, hot air, okay. just like an oven. And pizza rolls. Oh, pizza rolls. Bacon, pizza rolls, and waffle fries. Waffle fries, those three we, things. We, we've we've done regular fries. We've done it's chicken the, fingers. We've done like listen, like uh, the holy coconut shrimp type thing. Like you know all the stuff that you'd normally like throw onto a sheet pan and put in the oven to cook. Put in an air fryer and it makes it crisper and it just it tastes better yeah. than cooking it on the on the pan in the oven. Ba two two weeks from now, bring your air fryer here. During the show, cook me some bacon. Okay. Deal? Yeah. I and sign up I for Swamp Stomper. That's all I've that. ever asked. <laughs> I got to, I have to, I, I will think about Swamp Stomper. You know what? Okay. We'll do, but you, but you will do the bacon. You need to show up here a half hour early and to make, make the bacon so that we can eat bacon live on the show. This is well, it sounds like we can do it. He can cook it during the show. Or is it well, loud? no, it'll make a noise like your air conditioner and you'll have a The cow, yeah. Kill yeah. apart. Yeah. Yeah, We're just trying to save you. But live bacon eating is you can't beat that. Somebody might pay to be that. Will be our first paid <laughs> studio event. audience member. Yeah, <laughs> smacking into a, a microphone. Can you charge well. people to do well, Facebook Live well, if you here. pay us? <laughs> <laughs> do y'all know where the term "stuck in my crawl" comes from? Never heard that term. So you no. haven't when something like I, I've just had that stuck in my crawl. Like I, it, I know what it means. I've heard I don't this know before, where it comes and I from. I can't remember. I'm going to tell you. Tell us about it. Hunters centuries ago noticed that some birds swallowed bits of stone that were too large to pass through the crawl and into the digestive tract. These stones, unlike the sand and pebbles needed by birds to help grind food in the pouch, literally stuck in the crawl and couldn't go down any further. Isn't the crawl a gizzard? Uh, is that what that is? Is that a Not gizzard? A gizzard? I don't know. Yeah. It doesn't have an L on the end, right? It's not crawl like before you walk. It's, it's, it's not crawl. crawl C -R -A like a crawl dad. Yep. Like okay. a crawl dad. Uh -huh. Exactly. That's a good good job of doing that. You are 13.8% more likely to die on your birthday than any other day. Well, that's a... How do, well, how do they come up with that? And my birthday's more. on the 13th. June 13th. Likely. What, does, what, what is the significance of that? 13% percent percent. more likely. Oh, okay. Got I'm probably going to die on my birthday. Friday the 13th. On, yeah. I was born on a Friday the 13th. I'm, my mom was too. I'm screwed. Were you really? I'm going to die Wish on my mom birthday. was born June 13th also. <clears throat> I was. Wow. Yeah. Friday. On a Friday. Well, what are the odds of that to have two people born on separate days on a Friday the 13th that's still the same date? Oh, wait. <laughs> Can somebody run the numbers on Katie. that? Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, this is true. Because the next podcast is the Monday after Thanksgiving, and I will be out of town. Oh, so it is after Thanksgiving. The air fire bacon thing yeah, we, we may not have a podcast in that one. Bitch. That's the weekend. You can't cancel whatever you We're got. What's so important that you've got a <laughs> Thanksgiving? Okay. Thanksgiving. <laughs> there was Katie. anybody else but Katie. <laughs> Katie. Doesn't Katie's like, like you're not canceling my birthday for bacon and air fryer at the podcast. Whatever, bacon hater. 
Okay. <laughs> It's, Katie, not, it's not just a sandwich at Katie, Wendy's. Katie, you can come too. Okay. It's a is person. Katie going Bacon to uh, Bacon hater. to Sillamore? Yes. Is she going to bring her camera? Yes. Is she going to bring her overalls? Yes. Is she going to bring her cousin Eddie hat? Yes. That's all that I'm worried about. <laughs> I, Those I things actually, make me. Ha- I spent a lot. Of, I had some bonding time with Katie on the last trip. She was it. Was she wearing her overalls this weekend? I have I have a picture of of like two or three of those things together. I can't remember if she's wearing the overalls. I don't know, but she saved me at Sillamore because my watch, I bumped it at some point and stopped my time. And so she was sending me my times. Yeah, not wearing wearing the overalls, but. There you go. (laughs) Katie Katie and her cousin Eddie Hat with her camera (laughs) from this weekend. That that girl knows some numbers, man. I mean, she knew where everybody was supposed to be. And and now this is the time where you're going to say, no, it wasn't that impressive because this is what she was doing. No, she's very disappointed in all of us not all running the 50K and not being close enough together like we were that first year to lead her to believe that she would be able to be that awesome crew for everybody every year thereafter. Where is this at? Sillamore. Okay. I thought you said last weekend or something. I just took this picture last weekend. Oh, okay. This past weekend. I got, I got confused. But I'm we're not, talking about Sillamore. I'm an idiot, remember. <laughs> Without a beard. Without a beard. Without Without a beard. With a no beard and no beard having more on. That's exactly what I am. There's only one word in the English language that ends in M-T. Can anyone here tell me what that word is? MT? Man, I heard this on a podcast. It was different. I'm going to have to think of it. A different a different thing like that. You got 12 seconds. It ends in MT? Yep. Like Mike Tyson. Hmm. I don't know. Preempt. That- Preempt. Man. No. Okay, then, then there's two words. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Oh, wait, no, no, no. 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 That's P-T. P-T. Yeah. That's P-T. Yeah, don't argue with me. I got <laughs> that was off funny. the internet. Boy, but that's pretty good, man. You had me uh, stumped. You could have sold me on it. Uh, you want oh, me to tell you? Hilarious. Monument. No. Yes. Well, Does anybody in the in the audience, does anybody still listen to this garbage? Ver Clamp. Ver Clamp. Steve Wilt. Dreamt. 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 That's it. He good Googled job. it. He it's Googled not it. fair because he's on the internet. But he's a smart guy, though. And he's a teacher. He's smart enough to go to the internet. He's a teacher, isn't he? So he has like a extra file cabinet in his brain that we don't all have. Right. Katie says absolutely freaking lutely about being at Sillamore <laughs> and I will have the camera and actually know how to use it this time. Nice. Man, there was another question I heard on another podcast that was just like that. I wish I could remember what it was. It wasn't as good though because I come up with the best questions. Oh. I'm gonna have to oh, well, speaking of podcasts, did y'all ever listen to Dr. Death? Yeah. Okay, so they have an update. Um, He's the guy from Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so there's an update uh, out there now that um, it's really good. It's his friend Jerry. He's he's ready to talk. And he's he lives in he lives. Jerry lives in Memphis. Yeah, he still lives in Memphis. Can you imagine coming to Vaughn for say like a an internet problem and Vaughn saying I can fix your internet problem, but you're gonna have to come see me tomorrow. And you're like okay, and then you go and see Vaughn, and while he's fixing your internet. He paralyzes you. <laughs> <laughs> and then Holly's like, what What did you do? And you're like, I, you know, I just I, I took the, the thumb drive and I jammed it in his neck like it <laughs> needed to be. And I was trying to get data. And this is what happened. And you got to live the rest of your life with this, your best friend paralyzing you and doing it like out of sheer incompetence. It's crazy, man. That's pretty wild. Have you listened to Dr. Death? Uh-uh. You need to listen to it. Uh-huh. Yeah, so they have a second season, Dr. Death. So I, I just listened to that one, and it's good, too. It's about an oncologist in Michigan. There's a lot of crazy people out yeah. there. Yeah, there is. It's some good stuff. I, and I downloaded the Wondery app and got it because it was just, I love Wondery. All their stuff is very good. Most of their stuff is pretty good. Yeah. Um, I tell you who is also crazy is the guy in, um, what have we been watching? The Blacklist. The Blacklist. That's an outstanding show. I love that show. So I, far, so good. You guys man. talking about it today, like, I was like, oh, because Katie and I, every once in a while, are looking for shows. The problem is, is we've got too many things going on right now, so it'll be a minute before I get to start it again, or 
I'll have to figure out how to like start that one on my own. But like right now, we are simultaneously watching Chicago Fire, Chicago PD, but we're watching them in air order. So it's like you got to watch one Chicago Fire, one Chicago. Is PD, that like a universe Chicago. that all works yeah, together? Yeah, and then uh, and then when we get like a another season or two into it, then Chicago Med comes into it, <laughs> and so then we'll so be watching watch three that. shows simultaneously. And then they do some crossovers with CSI in New York, but oh, we don't. Cool. But we don't watch those. Because um, CSI anyways. sucks. Forget them. Uh, right. Because I can't watch it on uh, Prime. <laughs> oh, I see. Without paying for it. Right. So, uh, anyways, <clears throat> I had no idea that Blacklist, Blacklist had like nine seasons. I, there's a I, lot. I, I, there's, I was I was going to throw out five or six today when you said like, oh, here uh, I thought there was one. I want to say there's thinking. eight or nine. I but thought the, it was brand new. The deal is there's 22 episodes in a season. Right. Jeez. Yeah. Well, this is aired. This is so, aired. Uh, yeah. It's not like a Netflix show. This used to when NBC and CBS and ABC make shows, they make. 22 season. Yeah, uh, I didn't realize you know, that. 22 I'm just used season. to watching. Most yeah, people Netflix. don't know things like you know things. I see it on Netflix and I start watching it and therefore it's new. Well, no, you no, don't, I, I'm not you don't see, you don't, that. You don't see that there's the, like more seasons? Surprised. I, I don't like to look at that because I don't like to know when it's over. Law and order I have to know beforehand bad. if this is a long game or what. Well, ask Amanda. Like I'll pause, when it gets to a good poor part in the in the show, I'll pause it because I want to know how much time I have left to oh, enjoy that show. So well, the thing pause, about, like, what do you pause it for? I just want to see how much more time I have. I just get excited. And I there's only know. 10 minutes left. Oh. This is very similar to Law & Order. I have a but, disorder. But at the same time, they have like a hook where you want to know the storyline that is goes throughout the season, right? Like right. I want to know who is this girl's dad? Who that, is this guy? That, that's the and thing what, I love about shows like that. It's like there's the overarching story yeah. and then every episode – Right. Is a story. And then the episode yesterday, I, wa I watched the episode yesterday that ended with a Pearl Jam song. So I was like, now nah, I'm really hooked. The music is killer. <laughs> the music's awesome. I just want to sit in the lobby of a concrete room with the CIA and the FBI interviewing me and tell them, most importantly, I will only speak to Elizabeth Keene. <laughs> And then lean back and have like a Pearl Jam song start. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. And, and I'm done. That's all I want for the that's, rest of my life. It. And they give it to them, which <laughs> happens all the time. I mean, if, if you're like a, if you're on the top 10 list of, of a wanted person, they'll let you do They're whatever like, you want. No, no, you're, you can't have that. You, yes, I can. You promise you won't leave? Yeah, I promise I won't leave the country. Bring me some wine and put me up in a hotel room. I'm going to fly my jet very, with, with your yeah. special agent right. across the But I like that K kind of stuff. K-Max just committed to us eventually watching Blacklist. It's great. She needs to start she's, now. No, no, no. She said she loves it, but she's way behind too. So, But we'll just have to start at the beginning and, yeah. and, uh, and pick it up. But uh, anyways, love that show. I've got one more thing for y'all. This is my last contribution to the show. I maybe, doubt that. Maybe ever. Do you know that cats cannot taste sweet things because of a genetic defect? Huh. Interesting. Yep. What is what is catnip? Not sweet. An herb. Herb. Yeah. Is it? What? I just assumed it was like a candy or something. Mm -hmm. Catnip is it's an like herb. Like a herb. Yeah. I thought it was a. I thought it was a a canned cat food. Turns out yeah. we've been feeding our cats marijuana. No, cat, catnip is literally a plant you can grow. And why would I know that? I've only been in the landscape business for twenty years. <laughs> <laughs> I have no reason to. What the hell is this weed you're growing in? Why do you have so many cats <laughs> around weed, here? I'm in, <laughs> I'm in the weed control business. I don't, I don't know anything about that. Um, is, is, does that have anything to do? I thought that you fed cats antifreeze when you wanted them to go away. When you want to kill because them. Because they're sweet. Because it's sweet. That's more dogs, but you can put antifreeze uh, in cat food. I think that'll they kill them. They just don't them. taste it. Okay. Won't that kill them? Yeah, it'll crystallize their urine. And I didn't say I gave it to him. I thought people <laughs> gave it to him. Well, why would you do that? <laughs> Katie says, is it really when a genetic to kill defect? A perhaps cat. it's exactly as it should be. Because what? I wish I she had said, that problem. Perhaps that's a, that's, I think that's the point she's going after. Is yeah. She said, perhaps that's exactly as it should be. Yeah. Maybe it's not a defect. It is not a defect, for sure. I disagree with that part of it. Um, uh, with us talking about shows, I have to put this in here. I finally sat down and watched Community, and I can't stop watching so Community because it's completely mindless, pointless, just like The Office and all that crap. It's stupid as crap, but I can't stop watching it. It's six seasons, and I'm really excited about it. They are so fast. It is so witty. There are so many jokes. There, There's more jokes that you could potentially miss. Who there. writes that show, do you know? Oh... I can't remember. Um, who's? The, it seems like they all write it while they're sitting there 
acting it. I mean, it's uh, so I, funny. I think it's uh, it's Tina Fey's partner in crime on SNL. The blonde lady, I think, is is one of the head writers for it. I can't think of what Amy Poehler. Yeah, I think. Oh wow. I'm not positive about that, but I think she's involved in that show. Is she in Parks and Recreation? Yeah. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. I'm sorry. She was the I'm, lead. I'm convinced. That I'm role mixing up Parks two shows. Dan Harmon is the one who wrote it. Dan Harmon. I don't know who that is. I don't know anybody is mm. really. I don't know anything. Um, All right, we're out of time. We're out. Are we? Yep. We went over our, our allotted time. We said we were going to do it for a shortened version, but we really didn't. We're at 52 minutes. <laughs> we said we were going to do it at 45. Because we well, got off to a late start. All right. Because it was so much fun. That's, That's fun. right. Two weeks so, from now, everything is fine. I can't be here two weeks from now. Damn it, Swanson. I'm cook bacon. Fine. We won't do it. We'll two figure weeks, it out. Then. We'll do it. We'll just do it sometime, I guess. I'll just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Lift heavy run long number 194. Six, 196. 196-ish. <laughs> We're coming up on 200. Have been for a long time. All right. Y'all have a good day. Thanks for listening.